hello everyone and welcome back to my channel i hope you guys are all doing well i i feel like failed at vlogging the last two days like i filmed clips but like it wasn't like <laughs> a good job so we're gonna flash back now to the last two days and the clips that i filmed and then we'll resume today so Let's go back in time to two days ago, Chelsea. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm gonna film another couple days in my life, a little mini vlog. I'm starting off right now because I'm heading out. I'm going up to Yorkville in Toronto, like more north. I'm going to just go to a couple places with my friend Alicia. We're gonna go to Coco Market and then I think um, a cafe or something for lunch. That is the game plan. And yeah, I'm excited. I'll show you guys my <laughs> It's freezing out by the way outfit because it's so freaking cold. So this scarf is from dynamite. My jacket is my Wilfred um, I forget what this one's even called slouch I think in black and then I'm just wearing jeans My sunglasses are Dior hat is Aritzia bag is Oakenfort and that is my little Outfit for strolling around in the freezing cold. This jacket is actually really really warm for what it is like wool jackets keep you super warm anyways Gonna head out now because my Uber is gonna be here soon, and I'm gonna bring you guys along a bit today. And I hope you guys are excited. I it's a little mini journal. <laughs> Everything is so cute. It's really hard to walk around here though. All right, guys, I am back. I picked up three things from Coco Market. So first up, I had to get the Carbon Pasta Sauce. I had this before in like a PR package and it is my all time favorite. It's so freaking good. So I was like, I had to get one. I just love it. So I picked up that. I also got this, which I'm gonna have right now. It's this drink poppy probiotic soda. This one's strawberry lemon. I wanted to try it and see how it was. So I'm gonna have that. Then I got some of the Siete kettle cooked um, sea salt and vinegar chips. These ones are so freaking good. I had them a while ago when I ordered them off of Na Natura Market or whatever it was called. But they're basically just potato chips, but they're made with avocado oil. So I got those. And then my good protein order came in. So I wanted to pick up a new protein powder and I was looking for one that didn't have soy in it. So I picked up this one. It's the good protein all-in-one superfood shake. So this actually has like a bunch of stuff in it, not just protein. Um, but it's pretty good. I got it in the mocha flavor because I love mocha and it's got 21 grams of protein in it, which is amazing. So I'm really excited to make a protein shake with this tomorrow. I feel like it'll be really good. And then I also just picked up their plant collagen booster. I'm going to have this added into my coffee in the mornings to try out and see how I like it. I did want to start adding collagen in just, you know, because I am getting a little bit older. So I picked up that stuff. So that's what I bought myself. And then I was sent these in PR. It's by the brand Array. I've heard of this. So they have like a supplement company. So they came out, they have a calm supplement, a sleep supplement, and then a bloat supplement. And then this is like a bloat latte formulation. So apparently it's supposed to help with that. It's got like ginger in it. I think ginger is what they have in it for your stomach because ginger is known to calm your stomach. But they're like all natural. Like, so this one's a sleep one. So it's got gamma amino or GABA powder. And then it's also got chamomile flower extract, valerian root extract, holy basil flower extract, and hops extract. And then the only other ingredients are the vegetable capsule that it's in and organic new flow rice hull. I don't know what that is, but anyways, <laughs> they're basically just like a supplement company. So thank you to them for sending these over. But yeah, that's everything that I got. We basically just walked around like Yorkville area. We went to Aloe Yoga as well. I didn't get anything because I feel like I would need to try it on and I just did not feel like trying stuff on. I had all these layers and I was tired and I'm like, I don't want to try something on right now. But that's what I feel like I would have to do. They had really cute colors though. So I feel like the next time in Yorkville, I'll definitely check it out again because I did really like it. I just didn't feel like trying anything on. And then I didn't buy anything from Ritzia because I'm just over winter clothes. I want to buy spring clothes, but obviously it's not going to be spring for another two months. So I didn't buy anything either. Should we try the drink? I was thirsty, so I'm thinking I'm going to try it. I was going to make... Oops. 
Oop, I'm balancing you guys on my water bottle, so don't mind me. I was gonna make a tea, but I think I might try this and see if I like it. It has four grams of sugar. That's good. I like that. It kind of tastes like, I feel like I've had an alcoholic beverage that tastes like this. It's a little sweet. I like it though. It's good. I have no complaints. <laughs> but yeah, if you guys are up in like the Yorkville area, look at Coco Market. It's super cute. The little shops are on there. They have this really cute cafe that we went to as well. That was like a furniture store slash cafe. Never heard of that in my life, but it was super cool and I thoroughly enjoyed it. So cheers. <laughs> everybody happy wednesday it is the next day i am all bundled up it's freaking freezing outside it's like negative 10 it feels like the arctic and it's only gonna get colder but i'm heading to an event today with um, my fitness pal it's an app and they're hosting an event at sweat and tonic so i'm gonna be heading there very soon in like five minutes and we're gonna be learning more about the app and all that kind of stuff and then we're doing a spin class and I've only done one spin class in my life and it was over a year ago. It was like two years ago, three years ago. I can't even remember, but it was a long time ago. I'm slightly nervous, but also excited because I feel like it's fun to challenge myself. I don't do cardio that often. So when I do, I do think it's fun. And yeah, I'm gonna bring you guys along. It should be a cool event. And that's how we're feeling today. I'm wearing all story today for my outfit. So I don't want to see all bundled up because it's freezing out, but I have a sweatshirt on from story that zipped up all the way because it's cold. Underneath I have a story sports bra and then story leggings. So I'm all decked out in story gear. All black as well was the vibe for today. My hair is slicked back in this like braid bun because my hair is greasy and um, I didn't feel like washing it yesterday because I knew I was gonna be doing a spin class and the last spin class I did, I was so sweaty and I feel like it's gonna happen again. So I prepared myself. I'm gonna wash my hair tonight. Anyways, I'm gonna bring you guys along and let's go have a great start to our day. right now I've had my collagen coffee as you guys would have seen I picked up a new collagen powder for my coffee and I really like it it definitely like adds a flavor to the coffee which is not like I feel like I definitely prefer my coffee without that flavor but it's not that big of a deal and it makes me feel like I have some health benefits when I have my morning my morning cup you know so we're enjoying it my eyes were so puffy when I woke up this morning. So puffy. It was not a vibe. I was like, what is going on? Why do I look like that? I think I was sleeping with my eyes half open or something. It was not a vibe. Anyways, I'm just gonna let this dry a bit before I go in. I'm gonna self tan my face. So I just spray this on. You let it dry and then you carry on with the rest of your skincare and it just kind of keeps my face having like a little bit of a golden glow so i'm not super super pale it's the coco and eve sunny honey antioxidant face tanning micro mist i really like it you just spray it on and you're out here looking nice and glowy and it goes on pretty like perfectly every single time i do like four spritz like i do one here 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 and here i feel like so i shake it up and then I hold it like arm's length away from my face. Like that. One down here. Side. 
in this side. Like so. That's it. <laughs> and then you just kind of fan it on out and you'll have yourself a nice golden glow. You definitely wanna make sure that you let it dry before you go in with any other skincare items so that the tan doesn't go everywhere, which we wouldn't want. Then I'm gonna go in with the rest of my skincare. I've been loving the Osea Hyaluronic C Serum right now. So freaking good. Bomb.com. I love it. So make sure this is dry. It's pretty dry. I wait like just a bit longer. I'm gonna supply some eye cream. I've been trying out some new products from Neutrogena. They have like this new line and I love their packaging and everything. I'm actually gonna be working with them soon. So I've been testing out a bunch of their products and love, okay? So good for drugstore products, amazing. So this is the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Caffeine Eye Gel Cream. These are all fragrance free products and they're so good if you guys are looking for like just a hydrating line from the drugstore i highly recommend like i love them so i'm just blending this out underneath my eye it's like just really cooling and moisturizing and i really 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 like this and i love that they came out with like a fragrance free line because having fragrance free is just nice if you find your skin is a little bit more sensitive and sometimes like i just don't want fragrance in my skincare products you know I don't need it. Even if it smells bad, I don't care. I know some people are really sensitive to products smell bad because a lot of brands will add fragrance because the natural product doesn't smell good. I don't care, okay? As long as it works, I don't care what it smells like. Hyaluronic acid now from Osea. I also saw a review on TikTok where some girl said this was too sticky for her. I don't find that at all. I think it's really good. I'm just applying it into my hands like this. I'm gonna rub them together and then apply it on my skin. It's really helped my dry skin. I don't have very many dry patches anymore, which I'm really happy about because I was struggling with that for a while. But hyaluronic acid always comes and saves the day. And then another really great drugstore product is the, I think this is new too, it's the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Gel Cream Extra Dry Fragrance Free. Hyaluronic acid moisturizer. I've heard about this one. This moisturizer is recommended for people that have acne problems because I guess it's non pore clogging. So it says instantly quenches skin and keeps it looking smooth, supple, and hydrated day after day. And I really like this. Like it is such a nice moisturizer. I've been applying it a bunch of mornings and my skin really likes it. It keeps my skin really hydrated. I love that it doesn't have fragrance, but it doesn't smell bad. It's just great. And I love that it's for dry skin, but it's still kind of like that gel consistency. Cause sometimes I find when they're creams, like too creamy, it's too much. And a lot of them also have shea butter in it when they're like super creamy. Like the drugstores we're at, you guys know I've been, I was a CeraVe gal, CeraVe, CeraVe? <laughs> CeraVe gal for a very long time. I love their stuff. The big ass tub, okay? Great, CeraVe was what I used when I was on Accutane and it was amazing. Anyways, this is a really great moisturizer. If you guys are looking for one that's budget friendly, highly recommend checking that out. And I'm very excited to work with them because I love the product. It's literally amazing. And you guys know I love the Osea Day Glow Face Oil. Am I gonna apply this? Ah. Maybe like a tiny little bit because it is really cold and dry out. So I'm just warming it up to my hands. I'm just gonna press this into my skin because I don't want too much during the day. At night, I like to be a, glow, a glazed donut, but during the day, I want as much. I don't want to be like too oily. Today is actually my day off from the gym, so I'm not working out. I did <laughs> a bunch of workouts. I did an upper body day on Tuesday, and then I did a spin class yesterday for an event, which you guys would have seen briefly, so I'm feeling in to the gym. I could apply sunscreen. I don't know what the UV is today. Let me check. Because <laughs> some of the days I go to apply it and the UV is literally zero and I'm like, why am I even putting on sunscreen when there's no UV? The UV today is zero in a max of one. Yeah. I understand people say to apply sunscreen, but it's just like, if the UV is zero, I don't really understand the point 
because it's supposed to protect you from UV and if you're getting absolutely none. But today it said one, so we're gonna apply. <laughs> I just got ready for the day. I did my makeup and I put these little braids in my hair, <laughs> which are cute. I just felt like getting my bangs area like out of my face. So I thought I would just try out this hairstyle, especially when my hair is natural. I was going to blow it out. I normally always do, but I got so lazy. I was so tired yesterday after my spin class, like spin kicks my ass. I was tired for the rest of the afternoon and I was literally too lazy to blow dry my hair. So it ended up air drying and now I got my like weird half waves because it was like air dried without air drying wave products in it. So it's like really flat on top and then wavy underneath, which is my life. But yeah, I'm about to go let Millie out again. It's freezing, but I'm like not complaining because tomorrow it's supposed to be negative 20. So I don't know how y'all in the prairies or I don't know where else it gets that cold. Maybe in some of the Maritimes. I don't know how you guys do it. I don't know how you do it. I'm like dreading it already. Negative 20, that's freezing. That's like numbingly cold. Like that's hurt your face cold. Um, and I'm not excited about it. So we're gonna be going outside as little as possible tomorrow. <laughs> I'm thinking about going to a cafe for lunch today just by myself, because you guys know I've been trying to get out of my comfort zone and go um, to cafes and stuff. So I might head to one for lunch, just me, myself, and I just head over there, get some lunch and a matcha and do some work and read maybe, we'll see. But I think that is my game plan for this afternoon because I wanted to head out today because tomorrow there's no way. Negative 20, no, no, I'm not going outside. That's, that's too bloody cold. Anyways, I'm gonna go let Millie out right now again. Take her on a little walkie woo, <laughs> ew. <laughs> And then I'll be back and I'll check in with y'all and let you guys know if I'm gonna go to that cafe because that is the plan. everyone <laughs> it is friday it is the next day i clearly am the worst vlogger also Millie, i got bought her a squeaky toy yesterday every time i do that i question my own sanity of why i chose to do that because she loves to squeak it loves it anyways didn't vlog anything else yesterday a fail on my part, but I finished all the work that I wanted to get done, felt really ahead of everything, and then I said chill evening to myself, as we do. Today, it's Friday, it's freaking freezing. It's, I've been saying that every day this week, but let me tell you, it is negative 20 out, which I believe is like below zero Fahrenheit. You can imagine, it's really cold, it's freezing. Um, I went outside once already today to let Millie out and I haven't gone out again yet, but it'll have to happen. I can see the lake from my apartment and it looks like it's completely frozen. Cool in a way and also just makes you feel freezing. I made myself a protein smoothie today. I went to the gym, I did yoga. I just wanna come on here and say hello again because clearly me and weekly vlogging, I just like forget. I feel like, you know, some seems when I'm doing like a daily vlog, I feel like I'm like, I need to vlog lots of different stuff. Weekly vlogs, I like vlog and then I forget. And then I like, <laughs> it's not as ideal, but I'm hoping that you guys are still enjoying it. I was editing yesterday and I know I still got like some good footage and I feel like it's entertaining for you guys, which is always my goal. I purchased a new book on my Kindle. You guys know I'm all about, I have too many books going on right now, to be honest. I have like three in the works, but, um, Sometimes it's just, that's the way it is. But I purchased Eight Rules of Love by Jay Shetty. You can see it there. How to find it, keep it, and let it go. And so far it's really good. I've never read a self-help book in terms of love. Obviously I am in a relationship, but there's always things to learn about how to love properly and what love is. And I feel like there's so many like false fake narratives of perfection and just all that stuff that just spread around in movies and social media and just 
it's so good to read something like this, I feel like, that really kind of brings it down. And I feel like I really like the guy who wrote this book. I follow him on social media and he's a really inspiring dude and so is his wife. So I just thought I would give it a read. I am 10% into it right now. I'm on the first rule. I feel like the first rule, which is so true, is you know, they always say that you need to learn to love yourself. You need to learn to be alone before you can be with someone else, which I 100% agree with because if you don't know who you are on your own and what your values are and things that matter to you, how are you going to know what kind of partner you'd want to have that would work with that? Do you know what I mean? So I find it very good so far. I'm really excited to read the entire thing. I feel like it'll be a good read. And I feel like as I've gotten older, obviously emotional maturity or emotional intelligence is really important to me and really something that I want to improve on as well. I can already see huge changes. Like I am not the same person when it comes to relationships and how I communicate as I was at 22, 23. 21 and I honestly feel bad for previous people that I dated that they had to deal with that person who was not good at communicating her emotions and That just was Like I can look at myself and be like I was not perfect in Plenty of my previous relationships. I'm still not perfect in my relationship now But I feel like I've grown in the fact that I'm like aware of my own Flaws more now and also able to I want to work on them and I want to improve on communication and improve on Just how I handle Emotional intelligence and emotional relationships all that kind of stuff whether it's with friends family significant other etc I found this book really really helpful. I will link it down below I obviously have it on my Kindle, but you can get the hard copy But if you guys are in a relationship or you're single or I feel like everybody is looking for love in the world like everyone wants to be loved and to love in return so i just feel like it's a really good thing to learn more about and get some inspiration in that kind of aspect so i will link that down below anyways i think i'm going to end off this vlog here because I feel like I've got enough good footage and I want to vlog tomorrow as a separate vlog. I have a really sad day tomorrow. I'm going to a really cool event. Um, what is it? Liv Sweaty? Liv Sweaty. That's not her name. Her name is Liv. But she is um, a fitness like influencer here in Toronto and she runs her own like workout classes and stuff like that. So she's hosting a three year anniversary for the Liv Sweaty. Um, business that she runs at one hotel tomorrow and i she invited me and i'm really excited it's gonna be like a full body workout with like some food and gifting and stuff afterwards so i'm super excited to attend i feel like it'll be really fun and i'm gonna vlog it and bring you guys along with me because i feel like it'll be such a good time and yeah anyways i'm gonna end off this vlog here i hope that you guys enjoyed it give it a thumbs up if you did subscribe if you're new and i will see you all in my next video